everyone today we're going to talk about the tooltip so the tooltip is a very good option to see different kind of analysis on a single point uh, so I'm gonna start with the map chart because I th it, you can do use any chart uh, this this option is available in many charts and click now um, but I think this best use case is using map so I'm gonna go with that so I'm creating I'm gonna create a map city I'm gonna use this one and point layer then I'm gonna size that by sales and I'm gonna just increase the size of the bubble a little bit minimum size so that it's more visible so now let's see what happens is I can see this one uh, if you need more details about how to make a map chart I have a complete video about it you can uh, have a look a look at that okay so let's now go to the options and the tooltip if I see you know I have the basic tooltip already selected and we saw that you know in the basic tooltip I can see you know the city name and the value that I've just used but if I, I have that option as you know completely turning it off or using the custom option so off is you can understand what that is and the custom is you know changing the values so now if I just say the hide the basic rows and let's see that how it looks I can see you know I can see the name of city and now the my year value has gone let's see now that the other option now we have in here is the title so I can have a title for example um, at the moment I can see the city I want the country as well so I can you know just write an expression in the title to show the country as well so I know uh, these values uh, but you can just go in FX and write the formula here as well and now if I go in here and I see you now I can see you know the city name along with the country name that I have in my database okay so the next thing is then there is a description so this is a title title is a bit bold and then description you can have anything else as well uh, maybe you can have a lot of other details and some history about this particular point or you can write an assay or the measures as well there is a separate portion of measures as well uh, it's better to use it here but you can have you know um, this in expression uh, this uh, description as well if you see there is FX button which means uh, you can write an expression here so I'm gonna leave it blank for now and then I'm gonna use the measure let's see uh, the measure I have declared some uh, master measures to make the things faster so let's get started with the margin I uh, let's add margin let's add uh, margin percentage and then let's add discount and then discount percentage so you can see on a single point on a tool tab I can see you know sales as well as my other things as well that this is the Kent city this is the margin this is you know margin percentage so I can see a lot of information in here and if I you know deselect this button I can see the actual sales as well the sales and it's just like appears like other measures okay so the next thing is I'm gonna use is um, you know uh, oh yeah so uh, you can add as many as my year as you want uh, there is no theoretical limit I think I have done 10 to 10 to 12 so which work perfectly fine but I would advise to you know uh, show restraints in doing as many as expressions because uh, if you have too many it's gonna slow down your analysis uh, for sure okay so the next thing is we're gonna do is adding a chart in order to add a chart if I click in here as you see I can see these are master items that I have in here so only uh, so this is a restriction that I cannot create a chart here in here I have to have that added already in my master items uh, I have made this one top five categories uh, in here so I'm first gonna see in here what it is it looks like so this is just a five top five categories by sales about and if I go to the properties there is nothing see, special about it it's just simple category uh, sales and then I have top five then just to make sure that I have only the top five one. okay but this is for all the cities but as soon as let's go to layer city layer and as soon as I add chart in here and I add in here it's automatically when I hover the mouse it's gonna filter automatically so now let's just see that if I click in here so uh, sorry hover my mouse in here so you see I have all the values along with the chart 
I can add, uh, I can make few adjustment in here. So by default, it's a medium sized chart. I can make it large. Uh, you see, uh, you might have observed that mm, the type mm, uh, labels are not that much visible. So if I do that, so I now the labels are more visible uh, and I can look at, you know, uh, it's in a bigger picture. Um, and this is totally adjustments uh, based on what type of a chart that you are using. Uh, you can adjust that. Okay. And then I have the option for image. So in image option, I can have two options. I can use the media library, which is I can, you know, add a logo from here. Or I can use the URL. For URL, uh, this is a dynamic image, so it can be you know any URL. It can be your uh, um, you know uh, server, internal server, pointing to image. For example, I have have a country flags. I can you know dynamically see that show that you know whenever I uh, hover a mouse, just that country flag show up. Uh, and that requires on the cloud, especially that I'm working on, it works, requires some further permissions because um, you cannot just in the cloud, you can get any URL. So you need certain permissions to be set up. That's a separate uh, topic altogether. And there is a click documentation on that. I would, if you want to do that, you can go into there and look at that. For now, I'm going to use the library one. And uh, as I have just done, I have added that in here and I go to the analysis mode. And now I just hover the mouse here. So you see. Now I see the logo in the background. You might have observed that when I hover the mouse, uh, at times the chart does not appear right away. It takes a little time to appear. Uh, that is because it just take a little time to render and get this thing. So uh, maybe uh, you know if the chart does not appear right away, don't panic. Give it a couple of seconds, uh, and it also might be you know um, how much complicated the chart is, how much calculations are going on in the background. It might uh affect how you how quickly you see this chart so that's it for today thank you very much for watching the video stay tuned